So at this point, you should have your background information filled in along with your question and your hypothesis. Moving on to the next section, that is going to be your materials section. So this is really just a list of everything you will need for your experiment and how much of it you are going to need for your experiment. So here is my list right here for everything I will need to test if Red 40 causes cancer. Notice I chose to test on mice normally, ethically. We can't test on humans. It is ethically wrong to try to give humans cancer. So I chose a animal that has similar qualities to a human biologically um, and that we can gain information from. So notice I chose a very large number of mice to test my experiment on. The larger the number of subjects, that you have, the more accurate your information is going to be. If I run this experiment on just one mouse and it doesn't get cancer, that doesn't give me conclusive information as to whether or not Red 40 causes cancer. If I test it on five mice, again, some of them might get cancer, some of them might not, but that's still not a large enough number of mice to really know accurately if Red 40 gives cancer or not. So I chose a whopping 1,000 mice I'm going to be dividing these 1,000 mice into a couple different groups, which I'll get into on the next slide. Um, now, I obviously need RED40 to test if RED40 causes cancer. I'm going to need an MRI machine um, because I'm going to use that machine to scan the mice before the experiment to make sure that none of them are starting with cancer. And I'm also going to be using that to scan the mice during the experiment to see if they get cancer. So... With cancer, it's internal, it's inside your body. You don't always just see a tumor just like growing on someone, it might be inside. So that's why we need this machine to look inside of the mice and get those images from them. Now, for any experiment, you always have to include your safety gear. So I have gloves and other safety gear. Maybe you want some glasses or goggles. Um, maybe you want like special lab coats so you don't get your clothes dirty. Maybe you want a face mask so you're not breathing certain fumes in, but all of that safety stuff. I also have cages listed below. And of course we need food for the mice to keep them alive and water for the mice to keep them alive. So this is my list of materials. Notice I gave an exact number of how many mice I'm gonna be using for my experiment. For your experiment over here, you should be listing out everything you will need for your experiment. So at minimum, you will need subjects to test on. You can choose mice, you can choose monkeys. Um, if you really want to, you can choose humans. We can throw ethics out of here. You'll need the substance that you're actually testing. You'll need safety gear. You'll probably need some other stuff just to support your experiment as well. So take a moment, fill out your materials section. Um, let me give you an example from one of these questions. So is acid rain causing a decline of frog populations? So if we're looking at materials for acid rain and frogs, you're obviously going to need frogs. Maybe you need a thousand frogs to test this on. You're going to need some acid rain or the same type of acid that's found in rain and water and mix it together. Um, you're going to need the safety stuff. You're going to need cages for the frogs. You're going to need food and water for the frogs. So that just gives you an idea of the different stuff you're going to have to list out. Like I said, take a moment, fill out your materials.